Okay, stationary designers, this video is for you. And first I'm gonna trigger you, and then we do kind of a rant style video. This is very different than my normal videos. So let me know in the comments what you think of this style. So first, trigger warning, I'm gonna send you into a dark place with this statement. And we're gonna to talk today about the statement, oh, why would I pay for invitations when they're just going to go in the trash? Okay, so if you just like clenched your entire body, let's take a deep breath and unclench. <laughs> Let's talk about this phrase, where it's coming from, um, what you should do about it, and maybe some of my angry thoughts about it. This phrase actually doesn't bother me too much because it mostly shows ignorance. And that's not to be mean to my clients. Like when I walk into a car dealership, I'm an idiot because I don't know anything about cars. And I might accidentally ask questions that send car dealerships into silent fits of rage. So this is basically what's happening when someone says, why would we spend money on invitations? They just end up in the trash. So I try not to judge people who ask this question and I try not to think that they are malicious or even stupid or anything. I just like to think that they don't know exactly what they're saying and why it would be offensive. Also, these people are not your ideal clients and they probably can't be educated into being someone who spends a lot of money on invitations or becomes your ideal client. So oftentimes we are told, you know, they just need education. And while I agree that education might be helpful to them and might make them not make that statement in the future, they're probably still not going to become your client. So the best thing you can probably do is just let it roll off your back. Is that super easy? Is it fun? No, if you're feeling petty, then let's go on education mode. So what would I do to educate someone who said something like this? First of all, I would just explain, hey, sure they're gonna go in the trash, but um, where does the food end up? I think you know, it ends up in the toilet. Where do the flowers end up? They end up in the trash too. Everything from a wedding is fleeting, it's one day. The only thing that lasts from the wedding is the marriage and the memories. So of course photographers have like a really good, you know, leg up on this particular argument. But every other vendor, for the most part, is going to produce something, and then it's going to go in the trash, it's going to go in the toilet, it's going to be forgotten about eventually. No one's remembering wedding food or a specific drink that they had at a specific wedding necessarily. They are simply remembering the good time they had, the celebration, the people that they love, etc. And I would argue that invitations are actually a big part of that. There's always invitations on people's fridges. People keep invitations for months leading up to your wedding. And if you are the type of person who is planning your wedding like a year in advance, you're making all of these decisions. You are in this all the time. You know what your wedding's gonna be like so much, but the person who's invited doesn't know what this wedding's gonna be like until they get the invitation. So that is the only piece of information that all these guests have to really understand what all this time you're spending is creating. So if you value all this time you're spending on making this wedding awesome, then you probably should value invitations because they're gonna be the only way you can explain to your guests what the wedding is gonna be like, the formality, the vibe, the dress code, all the individual logistics that are on there, all of that is communicated in the invitations and really nowhere else. So while you and your fiance and maybe like your moms are really involved and know so much about this wedding for the entire year, the only information that your guests are going to get is the invitation. That's the only thing that is helping them get excited and know what to expect at your wedding. So of course I'm biased because I'm an invitation designer, but I would argue that it's one of the most important pieces and might be even more important than food, etc. So if you are a stationary designer and you want to avoid getting this statement ever, um, first of all, just don't ask anyone you know in real life what they're doing with invitations because that is the most common time I get that statement. Uh, but second of all, you can help kind of destroy this narrative that it just ends up in the trash by really doing something unique, making your wedding invitations more interactive. Uh, you can also appeal more strongly to the people who value things like invitations uh, by being, you know, pricing more for a luxury market, working more with luxury clients, showing more high-end work. Um, those people typically value those things more. You can focus on how your designs are elevating the experience. You can focus on wedding day stationery because often uh, people see that as more valuable 
for some reason because it's part of the overall um, picture. You can focus on working with other vendors because they're gonna see the value a little bit more. You can discourage people who are gonna have this sentiment from coming in to your business through all of your marketing efforts. Like say, hey, I am not for you if you're someone who just thinks the invitations are gonna end up in the trash, for instance. It can be that blunt. The more that you discourage those type of people and encourage other types of people, um, the less you're going to hear this statement. So if you're getting a lot of the sentiment from potential clients, then I would say, first of all, they're probably not potential clients. And second of all, I would ask yourself why you're attracting these people who aren't great potential clients. So where's your audience come from, coming from? What message are you sending out in your marketing? What are you doing that's attracting these potential clients that are just not valuing stationary? Because likely, if you adjust your marketing a little bit, you can change that. This is not a sentiment that I get from any of my potential clients. This is a sentiment that I get from people in my real life sometimes, and that's completely fine. We're just in a different mode, and they don't understand what they're saying, and I just let them say it. But if you're getting this from people who are inquiring, reaching out about working with you, then I would say, how can we change our message and our audience so that we're getting inquiries that are valuing stationary a little bit more and understand what they're saying when they say something like that. So if you are someone who previously thought invitations just end up in the trash, I hope I've convinced you otherwise. I probably have not convinced anyone like that otherwise. But if you are a stationer and you're watching this, I hope I gave you a few tips that could help you in dealing with this. I think in general, just a mindset shift to like that person is not on the same wavelength as me. And that's okay. I buy cars that people who like cars would never buy because I'm an idiot when it comes to cars. And it just doesn't matter to me. And no amount of education can make it matter to me. So if you keep that in mind, if you have an example of yourself, no amount of education is going to help these people understand the invitations are valuable. But what we can do is control our own actions and try to attract more of the people on the opposite end of the spectrum who do care about that personalized experience. So let me know what you thought of this more freeform ranty style video. It really wasn't that much of a rant, but tell me what you would like me to rant about in the comments and I would be happy to do it. Thanks for watching. Stick around, check out all my other stationary design and creative business tutorials right here on my channel. Thanks everyone.